Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be giving you my review of the new foundation by Hourglass. It's the Vanish Seamless Liquid Foundation. Uh, this has had a lot of hype, a lot of buzz. I just got my hands on it this week. I've been wearing it the last couple of days and I don't know if I should say I'm excited to share my thoughts on this foundation with you, but I definitely have some thoughts to share about this. Uh, before we get started, I do want to mention that this video is in collaboration with Stephanie Marie Beauty and Risa Does Makeup here on YouTube. I kind of assume that most of you guys know who they are, but then I realized that uh, I haven't really done a collab with them in a while and I've had a lot more new subscribers over the last several months so I want to give them a brief introduction um, for those of you that aren't familiar with Stephanie and Risa. So Stephanie and Risa are uh, two very close YouTube friends of mine. We met through YouTube. We've been close friends for about over a year now. Um, they have two wonderful channels here on YouTube. Stephanie is, uh, is kind of more like your everyday beauty made easy. She does really great reviews on foundations, skincare, makeup, um, and her kind of whole angle is makeup over 40. She's over 40 years old. She has oily skin. So she really speaks in depth about uh, her experience with certain products as it relates to skin over 40. Um, she's fantastic. She's really easy to listen to. She has this very like a calming, well-spoken voice. I just really enjoy listening to her videos. I think that you will really enjoy her channel. And so Risa, like me, uh, has a makeup artist background. So Risa not only was a makeup artist, but she also owned her own makeup boutique. So she has a lot of experience in terms of makeup artistry. She is really glam and gorgeous. You will find makeup tutorials. You'll also find great makeup foundation reviews, skincare reviews. Um, I feel like she really does a great job of covering like new releases and new products as they come out. She does some tutorials on her channel as well. And I love her style of makeup because it's very, it's very glamorous, but not too much. Like, she knows how to apply makeup in a way that is very glam, but not overdone. She too is in her 40s, so she offers a lot of great skincare and makeup tips and tricks for um, women that are, you know, in their 30s, 40s, and plus. So I highly encourage you to check out their channels. We were just chatting the other week and we realized we were all gonna purchase and review this foundation. So we thought, why not, you know, do a collaboration, upload our videos at the same day so viewers could get different perspectives on this foundation um, depending on different skin type. And, you know, I'm 36, Risa and Stephanie are in their mid 40s. We just thought it'd be good for you to kind of see a 360 perspective of this foundation for women with different skin concerns. So that's what we are doing. So I'm gonna leave links to their videos and their channels down below so you can go check out their reviews and see what they had to say about this. We haven't talked too much about it. Like we've chatted a little bit about our thoughts, but we haven't chatted too much about our thoughts. So it'll be interesting to see their review on this as well. Okay, so before we get started, let me kind of go over the must knows about this foundation. It retails for $56 and you get just under a one fluid ounce. You get 0.84 ounces. It's got a beautiful bottle. It's hourglass, so it's very nice, very luxurious. I love hourglass packaging. It just feels like a very high-end luxury product. Um, I purchased the shade Nude because I have other hourglass foundations and and that's the shade that I wear in those foundations. So I ordered this online. It definitely is too yellow. When I apply this on the skin, it is extremely yellow. It's the wrong color. I mean, it looks okay now, but when I go in to apply it, it, um, it, has, a, it has a lot of yellow, too much yellow. It's described as being a highly concentrated, full coverage foundation with a natural finish. So what natural finish basically means is that it's not gonna look like a powdered finish and it's not gonna look like a luminous, radiant, glowy finish. It's gonna look kind of more like natural skin. They do say on the website that this is good for all skin types except dry. They list normal, oily, and combination, but they do not list dry skin. And I'm gonna explain why I think that that is very accurate. It says that you only need half a pump and you don't need to use a primer with foundation. I've been wearing this the last three days and so I've tested it a couple of different ways so that I could really speak on how I think this product performs um, on its own with a primer, if you apply a lot, if you apply a little, so I'll get to all of that as well. It has light reflecting micro spheres that are supposed to blur and give a soft focus effect. So basically that means it's supposed to kind of give a soft focus to any texture you have in the skin. Pores, fine lines, everything it's supposed to kind of blur and give a very soft focus effect. It claims to be waterproof, transfer proof, and sweat proof. Okay, so now let's talk about my thoughts about this foundation. So when I got this, I had already heard that it is best to wear it without a primer. So the first day, day one, I applied this as I would with any other foundation. I pumped out about a full pump and I applied this on my skin with uh, no primer. I moisturized the skin as I typically normally do. My skin was pretty moisturized when I first applied this. It wasn't bone dry at all. Um, aside from the color being really yellow, let me show you actually how yellow this color is. This is how the color nude looks. 
You can see that it's really, really yellow. When I first went to apply it on the skin, I felt like it felt um, a little thick. Um, I also noticed that it dried really quickly, like I had to work quickly. When I was doing more research, I did see on the site, it says not to dot it all over the face and then apply it, which totally makes sense because I did find this, like I said, to dry quickly, you have to work quickly. It's very thick. Um, I found it kind of difficult to blend out, to be totally honest. Um, I felt like when I was done applying it, I looked in the mirror and I didn't quite like the way that it looked. It seemed to, it seemed to have a very makeup-like, heavy-like uh, appearance. Um, it also kind of got patchy right here around my chin, which is where I'm more dry. Um, it seemed to do okay in the center of my face, but again, it did accentuate every little pore. It kind of settled in pores. It just looked like a really heavy made-up look. Also, under my eyes, I have these tiny little bumps in the skin that honestly I never really notice unless I use the wrong concealer or the wrong foundation, and then it's all that I see. This was a foundation that did that for me. So when I initially applied it, I did not like the way it looked. However, throughout the day, um, um, and when I say throughout the day, I would say about two hours later, I looked in the mirror and it looked better than it did on first application. As my skin seemed to produce natural oils, it tend to kind of set the foundation and it looked prettier. It still looked heavy, but it looked better than when I first applied it. But as the day progressed, it broke up a lot around my nose. I had um, patches where it had completely worn off. I had areas around the crevice of my nose where it completely like migrated to and settled in there. Um, I had areas just around the mouth, basically any area of the skin that was drier, uh, it tend to like patch up on. Um, it wasn't a good look. I, I ended that day feeling like, okay, I've pretty much formed my opinion on this foundation and I'm not a fan. So day two, I wore it and I changed things up. I decided to mix it with the uh, Mineral Veil Primer by Hourglass. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say mix it. I, I decided to apply this in the center of my face first. And then I used quite a bit less of the uh, foundation because I had read at that point that you don't need to use that much. So I thought, okay, maybe I just applied too much. So I applied um, half the amount that I did. And it was interesting because I do think it is a very highly concentrated foundation. Like it is very pigmented. I can see how it's concentrated. It's full coverage. But it's not a foundation that I feel like you can really uh, spread and uh, shear out or work with a little amount. Does that make sense? Like you, you get a little amount and it doesn't quite move and spread out nicely. So I feel like you end up using more than you need just for the sake of it not being a product that blends easily. Uh, so I tried to apply less. I still had the same issues though. It, it didn't really seem to matter whether I used a primer or not. Um, and by using less foundation, it did look a little less heavy. However, it was more patchy because I feel like I wasn't able to make a little bit of foundation work um, in a long way. So in areas of this face that I didn't quite get that foundation to blend through to, it was patchy and it just did not look good. By the end of day two, it definitely looked really, really awful. Um, I can only think of one other foundation that had that same um, level of like dislike for me. And ironically enough, it's another high-end foundation that I recently reviewed, which was the Becca uh, Skin Love, I think it was called. It, it had the same type of uh, effect to me by the end of the day. I looked in the mirror and I was like, this looks terrible. There's no way I can work with this. I can't touch this up and make it look better. It's kind of past the point of no return. Um, I have it on today because I wanted to wear it while I filmed this part of the video. I have touched up with powder just before I sat down. I've had this on for about seven hours now, and I want to kind of give you... Um, I'm going to kind of pull the camera in so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, a lot of the footage that I'm kind of laying over this video of day one and day two is taken from my cell phone. And the reason that I did that is because my cell phone doesn't do me any favors. It really gives a raw representation of how my skin looks. And um, I wanted you to see that because we are reviewing foundations and I feel like it's important for you to see that. Most of us are gonna be taking video and photos from our phones anyway. We're not gonna have this big, you know, DSLR camera in front of us while we're taking pictures for social media. We're gonna have our phones. So I wanted you to see what it looks like. Now I'm using my big camera camera. And this camera isn't doing me any favors either. It's very, very like, you know, you're seeing everything here. But I want to kind of show you in, um, the, in between my brows. I feel like this foundation is not only like heavy and a made up look. And don't get me wrong. I'm not someone that wants, I sometimes like to have a more heavy kind of made up look. I, I'm not against that. I don't think that's bad. I, I think some of us prefer that and some of us don't. I kind of go back and forth. Uh, but I don't like a made up look when the makeup settles, when you can actually see the makeup 
uh, in the skin. Does that make sense? And this foundation, I feel like, really does that. It really settles into every area of the skin that's not perfect. And regardless of your age, we all have texture in the skin, whether it's scarring, acne, pores, fine lines, wrinkles, um, any, anything where the, the skin is not perfectly smooth. And this, this foundation, I feel like it really, really magnifies it. It really likes to gather right here around my nose. It is only um, four o'clock right now, so it is not like it's the end of the day, really. Um, you know, if I were wearing this to a job or to a work or a full day, like I still have a few more hours left in my day and my makeup looks very um, unfresh <laughs> in my opinion. So I just wanted to kind of give you this view of how it looks. Do you see these little dots under my eyes that I was telling you about? I feel like I never notice those unless I'm wearing the wrong makeup and this foundation definitely made me more aware of those. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to say this is a definite pass for me, um, for the price especially, but regardless, if this foundation were $10, I would be disappointed in the way that it performed. Um, I gave it three days and I wore it with a primer, without a primer, I tried half a pump, I tried a full pump, I feel like I really tested this, um, and, and, and I kind of come to this conclusion. If a foundation takes that much effort, like and how you apply it and what products you pair it with, that's just too much for me. I need a foundation that's pretty reliable that I can count on. Sure, I understand some foundations work better with primers and some without, but this one I don't find to work well in either situation. So that's my review of the new Hourglass Foundation. Now, don't get me wrong, I know some people will love this foundation. I had someone message me on Instagram and say that they're loving it and they kind of gave some tricks on how to apply it. I tried those and it just didn't work for me. Since foundation goes on the skin, it is a very customized product. I feel like it's like skincare. You know, depending on your preferences, your skin type, um, other products you use, it's, you're gonna have a different effect. However, I, from my experience, this is not one that I would recommend. I'm considering returning it, even though I never return foundations. I feel like for $56, this is just gonna go in the drawer. Um, so that's my thoughts on it. I would love to hear your thoughts if you have this foundation or if you've tried this foundation. Let me know in the comment section below. Again, don't forget to check out Reese and Stephanie's review on this product. I'm gonna have their video linked down below for you to check it out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.